Hi, this is Paul Thompson with Spitfire Audio. Um, I'm going to give you a quick look at the Spitfire Harpsichord. Um, we, th this is following on from our percussion and harp libraries. Um, this is another library which we have done um, featuring an incredible player here in the UK. Stephen is uh, the harpsichordist, has been since 2007 with the London Baroque and is also the co-principal keyboard player with the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment. Um, he's he's made a number of distinguished recordings um, and is has a, a incredible beautiful instrument and he's helped us uh, design this um, this VI in such a way that we've got the maximum kind of range of sound that you can get from from one of these great instruments and played again in the hall at Air Lindhurst. So the controls very briefly um, similar to to our recent orchestral grand piano release. Um, you have the four mic positions, the close mics, the tree, the ambience and the outriggers. Um, these can be turned on and off down here by clicking, uh, but also you can slide the control, the mix control here. If you slide it fully down, it just unloads that mic. So two different ways of controlling those. And again, these can be automated by CC. Um, when you turn the close mics on, you get the stereo width controls up. So these can be command clicked to reset and you can see that you can collapse that to mono or you can you can increase the stereo width in a kind of pseudo wide uh, way but the normal position for the um, for listening to the close mics on their own would be in the center like this and stereo pan centered um, it's useful to be able to collapse to mono and then point that in the exact location you want it in the hall um, and you get a fantastic position sound there so let's turn those close mics off um, here we have the registers, so the lower eight, the upper eight, the lower and upper eights together, the lower eight with the upper eight and four foot register stop, which gives you an octave up, um, the lower eight with the four foot register on its own, and the low buffer eight and high buffer eight, which are kind of muted um, versions. There's a mechanical mute that goes into the instrument. Here we have purge unused, so when that's selected, your memory is unloaded as you unload the mic positions. Um, or the round robins, you can you can drag down this eight down to one if you want, um, or you know any figure in between, to lower the memory usage. Uh, you can use that in conjunction with neighbouring zones um, to simulate round robin instead of using the eight recorded round robins that we have. There's a round robin reset key here which can be configured, and you can turn the releases off altogether or um, change their volume here uh, as you wish to to change the sound. So I'm going to do a very quick, um, a very quick walkthrough of the sound. We'll pick something that has uh, some interesting harmonics, but isn't too full on. Um, the close mics. I'm not going to embarrass myself by attempting to play some proper baroque music on the harpsichord, so you'll have to put up with my fumbling around. <laughs> but um, here are the close mics. Um, so a nice wide, full sound from the close mics. The tree, uh, this is the Decca tree. And then we switch to the ambient mics on their own. into the outriggers and then let's just have a quick listen to everything in and I'll pull the close mics down a bit I'll collapse the field and pan it slightly to the side we'll change actually I'll leave it on on the same register so you can hear Um, so uh, well let's go back to um, the individual patches now. I'm going to go back to the tree on its own, um, just so you can hear a comparison of the of the different registers we have here. So the low A. So that's the low eight. Let's switch to the high eight. Now, 
if we have the lower eight and the upper eight together. And these are all obviously all individually recorded, so that that's not a um, a mix or a reproduction of the of these two. That's actually recorded as a separate patch. Again, here, this is with the four foot stop. Then, if we have just the lower eight and the upper four, and then if we have a listen to the low buffer, and then if we put the upper buffer stop. So you can hear um, a fantastic range of sound from from the whole thing here. I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how the releases affects things. So I'll play with. You can hear um, that if you need to tighten it up for any reason, you can just turn down the volume of those releases and get the exact sound that you want. So we're we're really really very excited about this. It's we think it's. Um, a fantastic and very versatile VI um, and we're delighted to release it and uh, thank you for listening and we'll see you on the next one.